Hey guys, and welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. The big news this week is NB Miners, new miner is able to bypass or unlock Ethereum mining on light hash rate cards. We're not just going to report the news, we have some new hardware, we're going to be testing it, and I promise you the results are extremely promising. If you haven't already subscribed, push down on that subscribe button. Let's get started. We actually have a brand new Founders Edition RTX 3070 Ti graphic card, which is a light hash rate card, and we're going to be testing it so we can see firsthand what are the metrics, what is, how many hash was I getting before, and how many was I getting afterwards. But we're going to take it one step further. We're actually going to integrate it right into NiceHash and show you how to do it. If we open up the NB Miner official website, scroll down a little bit, you'll get to the NB Miner GitHub link. Click open to that link and that'll bring you right into GitHub and it'll give you their official location. Scroll down and you see a little bit on the right hand side, you see release. This is, you see NB Miner version 39.0, the latest. Go into the NB Miner 39.0 and it'll tell you right there that there's this new feature for ET hash. So a new LHR mode for Ethereum mining on RTX 30 series LHR GPUs. It supports Windows and Linux, able to get approximately 70% of the maximum unlocked hash rate. This can be turned on by adding a specific flag, which is dash LHR. So their optimal value that they're suggesting is 68. And if you do not specify any value, it will automatically apply the LHR 68 for the LHR cards. Scroll down on this, I can quickly see that for me, I want to download MB Miner 39 Win.zip. I'm going to open that up, download it. It's going to open up and it's going to download into my downloads directory. I'm going to right click and extract it, and I'm going to then have an unzipped version of that file. So put that to the side right now. Let's get over to NiceHash, where we're going to be doing some benchmarks. When I open up NiceHash on my test rig, you'll notice right away that it has two GPUs listed. There's actually a RTX 3070 and an RTX 3070 Ti in this computer. For the purposes of this demonstration, I disabled the RTX 3070, so we'll only see numbers for the RTX 3070 Ti. It's a nice hash. Go to the plugins tab, and you'll see on the plugins tab, it'll have a list of all the different miners that are available on this on this version of nice hash. Me, I'm specifically looking for NB Miner. So NB Miner right here, it is already installed. If it's not installed on your computer, you're going to have to click the install button and get that working first. So once that's installed, you'll be okay. Then after that, you're going to actually be going to the benchmark section. So there's many different algorithms and there's many different coins that can be mined. Um, but what we want to do is, is we want to just focus for our demonstration purposes. How do we run just NB miner? So NB miner for Ethereum. So I'm looking dagger hash NB miner benchmark. Okay, I'm going to turn here. I'm going to say enable this algorithm only. So I'm only going to be running NB miner on this computer for this test. Next, go to dashboard. Minimize this off the corner. And we'll see we're version 37.2. So right now it's building a new DAG for this card. The 3070 Ti. And okay, right off the bat we can see if we're not running with any overclocks, we're getting a st at stock, we're getting 38.24 mega hash. Um, at 185 watts that's not so great but okay that's at least a starting point i've already played with some benchmark numbers let me take a look see what they look like power of 50 zero core clock increase and 1300 on the memory and let's wait for it to catch up and stabilize Okay, we're at 43.99, which is where I expected it to be. So we're basically almost at 44 mega hash, 43.99 at a power of 144. 
and that's what I've seen historically. So I just wanted to confirm that this is accurate. So we're basically at 43.99 at 144 mega hash. So now what I'm going to be doing is, is I'm actually going to stop the miner and I'm going to be swapping it out to the new version of NB miner that has the unlocked or bypassed LHR feature. Now that we have our initial benchmark of almost 44 mega hash using the original NB miner, we can actually proceed to updating the miner plugin inside of NiceHash to use the new unlocked or bypass version. So to do this, the best way that I've usually found to do it is, is go to plugins on NiceHash, on plugins, scroll down until you see the NB miner source details. Click it and you're gonna see show internals. Once you click on show internals, there's going to be a new window open. This is actually the location where this miner is. So this is actually where the location that NiceHash uses this folder. And within here, there's a bin subdirectory. So click in the bin subdirectory. And now my version is 16.1, which corresponds to a version of NB miner. Yours may be different, that's okay. You wanna find the latest version that's in here if there's more than one. If there's just one, that's okay too. Take this folder that's there, just rename it, call it if it's like 16.1, I'm going to name mine 16.1 original. And then what you're going to do is, is you're going to go and create a new folder there. Call it 16.1, the name of the original folder that we just replaced. So now that there's a blank folder in there, click into this folder right here. We're all set to now move the miner over. So remember earlier on we downloaded, we went to the downloads folder where we originally downloaded the file from NB Miner before. We downloaded a file called NB Miner underscore 39.0.win.zip. And as I instructed you before, to unzip it into its own folder. So I've already made this folder, NB Miner 39win, and it has the miner part in there. I'm going to take this file from within the zip. I'm going to take it, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it right inside of here, right inside of this bin 16.1. Now I have the same NB minor win. That's it, we've changed the minor now. So now we are using the new and latest minor. So if I go back to the dashboard right now, under minor, we can close out these other windows. With the new version of NB minor in place in NiceHash, Actually just going to take the miner, move it out of the corner just so we have some space. Look at MSI, zero overclocking is being applied to it right now. Let's start mining it with this new uh, NB miner version 39. Okay, right away I see NB miner crypto GPU 39.0 and login succeeded. Okay, you'll see this new using LHR mode 68. This is different. We haven't seen this in previous versions. So let's let it mine and let's see what we start coming up with. Okay, we're at 45.82 mega hash. So this is already an improvement over what we had before and we have no overclocking applied. 45.82, but wattage is pretty high. We're up at 255 watts. So let me quickly go and open up MSI. I was actually playing with some overclocks on it last night and I actually came up with 70 power limit, zero core clock and 1300 on the memory. So that's just my choice and apply that in. And let's see what difference it makes. We can already see we're at 47.65. So it's definitely a little bit of an improvement. We started off at 44 mega hash. Now we're up to 47-ish, but wattage is very high. 51.56, that's definitely an improvement. I think it's still climbing right now. 51.56 at 200 watts. Wow, okay, I've let it run for a little bit. I am getting 55.5. 55.42 mega hash at 202 watts. That's epic. That to me, I started off with 43 
almost 44 mega hash using the original NB miner. Now I'm getting 55 and a half at 202 watts. To me, that that's a game changer. That's 11 and a half. That's 25% improvement I'm getting now on Ethereum mining. So in the past, I was always limited to either mining Ergo or mining Ravencoin with my LHR cards. But now this may make Ethereum mining profitable on LHR cards. Okay, we've let 150 shares get accepted so far. We're still holding at about 53.8 at 201 watts. This is great. Super excited, super happy to see that we've made this, been able to make this improvement. We hope you've enjoyed this journey with us. If you have, please give us a thumbs up like. If you haven't already subscribed, slam down on that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next video. Happy mining.